I have just written a book which I have called um, What Will My Baby's Face Look Like? It is full of, I think, good advice with lots of photographs showing just what can be done. But essentially, there are three things that cause malocclusion. One is living in houses because you get allergies in houses. Another is eating soft food because that fails to exercise your muscles. And three is breastfeeding for less than um, two and a half, maybe three years. And breastfeeding is not only very good for you, but bottle, spoon or uh, cup feeding is very bad for you. Almost all malocclusion, in my mind, is caused by incorrect tongue posture. And that is due to the fact that babies do not learn to swallow by sucking on their palate. Really, they push on the palate, the baby should. Anyway, um, mention that book in uh, your presentation because I think it would help almost every mother. I think it sounds remarkable. Is that book available for sale right now? Yes, it's available. <coughs> I think it costs <coughs> less than ten dollars. Wow! Or if you buy an email of it or e-book, whatever. I will put a link in the description of this right. video, and I will be <laughs> the first one to buy that book. That sounds fantastic. Can you explain why uh, the uh, breastfeeding is so uh, bio, uh, biomechanically important? What is it about the action of suckling a nipple that uh, trains the child to have proper tongue posture? Um, that's a very interesting question. <coughs> um, the <coughs> sorry, Bless I you. have a frog in my throat, as we say. Um, Bless you, doctor. The baby, um, if you look, babies suck in different ways. Some just suck the teat, while others will pump the breasts. The whole jaw will go on the breast, and they will push the milk out. To do that. They push the tongue up on the breast tissue very firmly against their own palate. If they do that for two or three years, it becomes totally natural. So that when they start eating food and drinking out of cups, they will push as they swallow, whereas most people suck when they swallow. When I say most, I mean more than 90% of modern humans suck when they swallow. That is why so many people have these very narrow um, maxillae with no room for the tongue at all. They just suck on their upper jaw when they swallow. That's what collapses the teeth and the bone. Do you think that breastfeeding was God or nature's way of trying to instill proper tongue posture in us at a infant age? <coughs> well, yes. I have written a paper called The Mastant Loss Hypothesis. That basically means the breast pump hypothesis in Greek. Now, I am quite sure it's right. I have tried to get it published by uh, ooh, several orthodontic journals. Every one of them has flatly refused to publish it. So uh, it has been published in a Japanese orthodontic journal, but only the Japanese can understand it. And I think it is the most crucial hypothesis, even more than the a mewing hypothesis, which was called the tropic premise. I think the mistant loss hypothesis explains exactly why 90% of the, the world's population, more or less, have malocclusion. And how would you put that hypothesis here? How would you phrase that? 
Well, I just say it is what happens naturally if you breastfeed for 30 to 36 months. But of course, we all like our lifestyle. I say if you really want to stop your children having malocclusion, sell your home and buy a cave in the top of a mountain and live off the food that you can catch without cooking it. And remember to breastfeed your children for 36 months because you don't have any cups or spoons or bottles. And I want to pitch an idea to you that I've had because I am also a huge believer in the importance of breastfeeding in training proper tongue posture and in guiding a child's development. But I also acknowledge that many women cannot and will not breastfeed for a variety of reasons, some of them better than others. What do you think about uh, a... Uh, I was thinking of inventing a, a set of fake breasts. Okay, I was going to call it... I'm going to call it the rack. Seriously, I'm not joking. And it will be uh, designed by a team of uh, 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 lactation consultants, uh, uh, physicians, dentists, uh, mechanical engineers, fluid engineers, who can help mimic uh, the, m the action that a baby's mouth takes on a human breast and recreate a device that, the, that will force the child, in order to get the fluid out of it, to use the same mechanics that you're describing that lead to proper swallow, proper tongue posture. What do you think of this idea? Is that worthwhile? You're absolutely right, Ron, and it's a fond idea of my own. The problem is you will have great difficulty in creating a really realistic breast, which crushes as they pump on it, and squirts the milk out. Um, it, it, you can't fool nature easily, um, but I am quite sure it is possible. There is a, um, a nipple called a nook nipple, which tried to do that, but it didn't really work. And I, I'm sure there are bright minds out there at this moment, but what I don't think many of them have ever read the mass tantalus hypothesis, and all the time the orthodontists prevent that being published, they'll never know. 